Hello, thank you for joining me today. My name is Dietmar Dörschleg. I am a certified Atlassian business consultant with Valiantis, and we are the largest platinum solution partner solely focused on the Atlassian ecosystem. Thank you for joining me today. The purpose of this three-part video series is to clarify the various Atlassian administration roles and how you properly use them and set them up. As we know, the Atlassian ecosystem is really large. Atlassian offers many different products that integrate how teams collaborate with each other. We have applications related to service management. The flagship product related to service management is Jira Service Management, JSM. Jira Service Management very often integrates with Confluence and also assets status page and ops chain. Of course, software development teams work in Jira, in Bitbucket, uh, and they are tied into Compass, Jira product discovery, and even Bamboo and Fisheye. Teamwork and collaboration can happen in Jira, in Confluence, in video recording uh, solutions such as Loom, which I'm using to record this video, and portfolio management folks work in Jira line and also in plants and Jira product discovery. So you see that there are many, many different products that work together to allow teams to collaborate. And it's very important that we have proper governance in place to ensure that the investment in Jira, in Confluence, in Jira service management, in any other products in the Atlassian ecosystem is really optimally tuned for the long run. Now, with respect to the various administration roles that we use in Jira, in Confluence, in Jira Service Management, there are different hierarchies that come to mind. The first one that we need to emphasize here is the organization admin role, which is the purpose of this video. The organization admin role it has the highest authority and is very, very important to think through who should be given that um, permission, who should be given that role in any organization. In addition to the org admin role, we also have product admin roles, a Jira administrator, a conference administrator, and a Jira service management administrator, who very often work together with project and space admins. And all those three layers in the administration roles obviously work together for the good of the end users so that their user experience is uh, optimal and the system is configured and maintained in an optimal state. So without further ado, let's jump into the application and see how the, um, the um, Atlassian um, org admin works. Now, I have now spun up my own organization in the role of an org admin. And I want to now demonstrate what the org admin role entails, what they do, and how they administer Jira conference and Jira service management. So I spun up my own demo org, and by virtue of having spun it up, I become the org admin. So I'm now looking at this instance as the org admin. The first thing that the org admin does is the org admin maintains, manages products. So you see that in my instance, I have licensed various products. I have licensed multiple instances of Confluence, multiple instances of Jira and Jira service management. So the org admin, the org admin's role is to set those products up and manage them. So for each product, the org admin manages that product. Most importantly, via the setup of groups, the org admin determines which groups have access to that product. So the role of the org admin, very important, is to manage each product on their instance and via the concept of groups determine who has access. And for each group, they can determine whether or not people in that group have access as users, as user access admins, and for certain products as contributors. 
if we are clicking on the on the uh, billing tab for a moment, the role of the org admin is very much keeping licensing and licensing plans uh, the way they should be set up for your organization. So they manage um, billing, they manage what type of plans you have licensed to each product on your instance. They extend license plans, they change license plans, they are reviewing um, the uh, estimated billing. So anything related to money, anything related to billing is the role of the org admin. Now let's move on to the user and group setup in the next step. So if I'm clicking on directory, under directory, I have the users and groups that have access to this instance. Users can be either managed users, managed accounts, which is via the concept of trusted domains, or the users can be um, non-managed accounts, which are invited to the instance, to participate in the instance. So it's the role of the org admin to manage the user base. Uh, they invite users, they grant permission to products for each users via the concept of groups. They remove or suspend access for users. They can um, manage certain details related to that user. Um, so anything related to user management is the responsibility of the org admin and only the org admin can grant access to products for certain users. Nobody else in the instance can do that. We touched on the concept of groups already. So groups are an absolutely essential configuration element in any Atlassian product. Groups are used to manage access to products. They're very often used to grant global permissions in Jira and in Confluence. And group membership can only be managed, maintained by org admins. If I'm looking at, for example, the org admin group, which is a group that's automatically created when an instance is spun up, the org admin membership can only be managed by an org admin. So only the org admin can grant the org admin permission or role to another group member. This is all handled through the concept of group membership. So managing users and groups is absolutely essential for the well-being of any Atlassian product and is reserved to org admins. Now, it is also reserved to org admins to delete groups, rename groups, assign groups to certain products, manage group membership. It needs to be kept in mind though that changing any group setup could have wide ranging implications on product access and could therefore negatively impact your instance. Therefore, this responsibility is reserved for org admins. Let's quickly move over to security. There are certain additional settings, which again are reserved for org admins. Settings with respect to data residency, in what regional data center should your data be hosted? There are a number of data centers that you can choose from local uh, globally, and this is selected by the org admin. There are settings with respect to audit logs, to organizational insights, IP allow listing, the setup of data security policies, identity providers, API tokens, application tunnels. So all those global instance level security settings are maintained, set up by the org admin and by the org admin only. Lastly, let's move into the settings tab. On the settings tab, we have additional settings that the org admin determines. We already talked about application tunnels. There are API keys that the um, org admin can set up in co cooperation with your um, 
network admins, um, settings with respect to global email settings on your instance, um, settings with respect to compliance and even Atlassian intelligence. So in summary, the org admin is the highest level of responsibility in any Atlassian um, instance. The org admin is the role that grants user access, that cr that's licenses products, that adds or removes users from groups, that maintains group membership, and sets a number of overarching foundational settings that impact all products within the Atlassian suite of applications. So this is the most powerful role and it is therefore granted to only a limited number of individuals. Now org admins work very closely with product admins, Jira admin or conference admins or Jira service management admins, depending on what products you have licensed, who then work very closely with both project and or space admins. Now the next video, in the next video, we're going to look at specifically the role of product admins. What is the role of a Jira admin, a conference admin, a Jira service management admin? How do they collaborate with the org admin? And how do those product admins work together with project and space admins for the benefit of the end user? So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found this information helpful. As always, if you have any questions, please reach out to us. My name is Dietmar Dörschlag, dietmar.dörschlag at valiantes.com. Thank you so much. See you on the next video.